All right, so it's time to paint uh, this thing now. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, this rust eater thing. It says rust eater in uh, four different languages. Uh, I don't know what it's made of. Uh, uh, we probably don't want to know. It's probably some nasty chemicals, but it's uh, it's basically a, a, some kind of thing that reacts with the rust uh, and prevents more rust from coming out. Uh, and uh, it says it also works as a primer, so I will use that as primer. I, I've used this several times before. I, I kind of like it. It turns into a, a light gray color uh, unless there, there it reacts with rust. It turns black. So it's a sometimes it's a light gray primer. Sometimes it's a black primer. Doesn't matter. So I, you're supposed to shake it also, but I've, I've already done that. And then I just pour it into a cup like this, uh, whatever amount uh, I'm going to use. So I don't dip the brush in, into the container because it kind of spoils it. It turns black inside the container and it uh, reacts with the, the rust uh, the brush has picked up. So that's not a good idea. And then you don't drink it because it's probably nasty. But but then we just paint. And I'm already bored because painting is boring. It kind of looks white now, but it's going to turn gray or black. There is uh, there is some rust here already, so Maybe we'll get some black spots here. We're gonna do this, uh, I think, maybe two or three times. We have to wait for it to dry in between. Because uh, when it reacts uh, and turns black, if it hasn't dried already, when you put the brush on it again, you're gonna pick up the black and Put it in this and it just uh, turns nasty so it's better to let it dry completely and then uh, put a new layer on. I, I don't know if you can see it from the camera but it's kind of turn it's turning kind of purple already that's because it reacts reacts with the rust It's going to be purple while it's uh, drying and then it turns kind of black. So it has uh, dried up uh, quite nicely now. It's been a few hours. And uh, you can see it has this uh, bluish kind of gray tone, uh, but it's that's going to go away and it's going to turn into a light gray color. It doesn't really matter because it's a primer. We're going to spray paint this uh, uh, just with a spray can. And uh, Right, so I put a plastic cover on the camera so I could uh, record some of this, but uh, yeah, it's kind of straightforward. Just spray on some paint. It's not very dramatic and uh, it kind of looks nice. It looks professional now. Looks a little bit a little bit tight.
So all four hoses goes down here on one side, on the outside, uh, and then uh, up here. But when the grapple swings in this way, it's going to stretch the hose. So we have to have enough length for that, that movement. So I don't know, maybe something like this. Just say it's gonna end up over there. Somewhere. Maybe something like that. Add a little bit. Yeah, I think that should do it. And now I don't have any tape, so we have to do this all again. That's a lot of hoses. Uh, it's gonna cost a lot. This is the problem I knew we would have with these. Uh, you can't get the tools into this one uh, when the top ones are in place. It's uh, quite an expensive way to do this with all these uh, parts and when they have to crimp all these hoses like this it would have been cheaper to just have one um, one hose all the way but it's uh, this way we can uh, if something breaks we can just change that part so it will be cheaper later on in 10 years we might save a little bit of money. I think I don't think it's worth it, but because this one, these hoses will probably go bad with age, not with wear. We're not going to be using this one so much. Something like that, and then we just put some. I think we were just going to put up. Yeah, I don't know, something to clamp it here. But I don't think we're gonna mount anything on the on the frame. Two of these are a little bit longer. We're going to put those on the top ones because of the <coughs> curve radius is a little bit bigger. So, what's these the longer ones? So, I'm a little bit annoyed. I've been into town like five times already today because I'm dumb uh, so I don't remember what I'm supposed to buy and then I buy the wrong stuff and have to go and change it uh, and but that doesn't matter I also got uh, these uh, this box with stuff I bought uh, new uh, quick connectors like this uh, and uh, I'm gonna put these on the excavator and, and change the ones already there because uh, one of them uh, I think all four of them are leaking but uh, anyway I'm changing to these ones because it's the same ones on the on my tractor so it's it's for farming basically it's a standardized uh, thing uh, so anyway doesn't matter uh, and they have this uh, small button here which is a pressure relief thing over pressure it opens a hole here so it lets uh, 
a little bit of oil out when you try to connect it so uh, so you can you can even connect them because if there is pressure inside even just a little bit of pressure uh, built up from basically sunlight or whatever the oil is a little bit warmer so it has ex expanded it takes up too much space and it, it creates overpressure and you can't connect them with overpressure it's it's just not possible you're, you're not strong enough I'm not and uh, but but with this one you get rid of the overpressure and you can connect them anyway so we're just gonna have to tighten these uh, and then uh, uh, we're gonna go out and uh, wake up the yellow guy uh, to lift this out and onto the truck to get it to where I have the excavator so we can try it out because now it's uh, it's basically finished 